What is going on guys? Awesome Nerd Joe here back again doing some more figure reviews. This time we have the Savage World by Funko Thundercats. So we've got, we don't have the whole set here, at least I don't believe so, because these are my brother's figures and he does not want the entire set. He's only getting certain ones, but we'll have to see here in a second. But as you can see, starting off here, we have the main man himself, Lino and Rhymer, of course, the two main characters of the good guy and the villains. And then we have two others of Panthro and Slythe, which of course, good guy and bad guy to go along with the set. So let's look on the back here. Okay. So we have all of Wave 1. I wasn't sure exactly what one we had. So we have all of Wave 1, which you can see there. So this, I guess, is a Wave 1 set. And you can see they come with weapons and stuff that we'll see once we open it. Then we've got Wave 2 there, which looks pretty cool as well. They get Tyra, Chitara, Mon 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 Monkey, Monkey, I don't know how to say it, and Jackalm in there, which would be a cool wave whenever those come out. If Hopefully they do. It feels like it's been a while, but you never know. So yeah, we're looking at Wave 1 here. So let's go ahead and get them all out of the packages, look at the figures, see what they do, look at their weapons and stuff. So let's get into it. So first up here, we've got Line, of course, the Lord of the Thundercats, and this looks cool. So the design of these figures are kind of based off the old 80s He-Man figures. So that's kind of what they base the Savage World on. Uh, so the design styles and everything, which is funny because they don't have He-Man because we we will see maybe next week or some we have the he-man ones made by super seven so they must have like the license to the line or something so that's why uh um Funko hasn't made these yet in the Savage World, but that's what they're kind of all based off of. But this is based off on the 80s cartoon versions of Thundercats, which is pretty cool. So here we got the look at Lionel's face. So this does look a little bit different. So his main body here is a different color. of. So here it looks like an actual like human skin color where on his arms, legs, and face and stuff, he's all orangish color. So it kind of um, <laughs> looks kind of weird and different and stuff. But there's a look at his face. You can see his eyes. So there's got the red eyes with, of course, the slits in them. Kind of like that cats have since obviously he's based off a lion and everything and I like the whole line that they added to the bottom there just to give it more of a point and stuff coming off the eye so it looks more liony and stuff and then of course has the lion face design with the different color skin around the mouth like lions have his eyebrows are cool then of course he's got the big what would now be called anime style hair and as you can see we do have some paint issue going on he's got a piece of uh, paint or something stuck to the back of his head there. So this paint issues on or paint isn't the best on these. They don't look horrible, but they're just not the best design figures and stuff. They look very much like they are out of the 80s and stuff. Um, he does have his classic outfit on again. So it's just kind of like a tank top and little uh, pants on. Looks almost like a wrestling outfit or something. So you can see the different blue designs with the dark blue outlines, light blue insides and stuff. And you can see he's muscled and ripped and everything. So there's part of the attachment there of the back. So it looks like it's just like a big like baby outfit he puts on that's what it reminds me of you could see his six pack abs going on there then of course he's got a belt with the thundercats logo there on the chest or for like a belt buckle and everything then he's got blue boots on of course in the same kind of style design with white outlines similar to the belt there as you can see and then the other sorts of design look at the muscles on his legs like look at those qu like quads and stuff there's huge they're ginormous, especially on the back of the legs. Those <laughs> things are ginormous. They look ridiculous. Um, and you can see his muscles crazy ripped out too. And you can see on his hands, he of course has, again, for like the line type design, where they faded out of the skin color into the um, like palish color or uh, whitish color there, like around his face, into the hands. So um, I think that's cool. And again, the part of the design of the classic uh, Thundercats. Um, for movements, he does, like, his arm does move around. They don't do any, like, special movements, because I remember, of course, like, the old uh, WWF figures and stuff, like, you'd move the arms and they would, like, slam down or something. I thought that's what these would be like, but they're not. Um, so the arms just spin around, the head can spin around and move and stuff. Um, he spins at the waist as well, so he can twist there. And then he does have some movements at the... Oh, so his legs, yeah, do move around a little bit. They're kind of limited because of the, um, his body and stuff, but the legs do move, and you can use it, of course, to help try and get him to stand up because his feet don't move or anything they're permanently put in position along with his hands so not a whole lot of movement on these figures but again they're made from the classic 80s style design which is how the figures were so you just kind of have to go with it for accessories he does have the claw shield so he's got this um, shield here it looks obviously like a lion's hand it's all gold it has these three dots of course right on the knuckles and everything so it's got claws and everything so you just kind of slip this onto his hand there so there he's got the claw shield for his hand and then he of course also also comes with the Sword of Omens, which you have to have with Lino and the sword to go with it, which it feels like the sword's a little too fat to go into his hands, but maybe if I can shove it down in there, there we go. So there he's got the Sword of Omens, and he's got Thundercats, of course, with the Thundercats logo there, the hilt that's got these like claws coming off to the side, and then of course the sword, so that looks really cool. And again, you always have to have weapons to go with your Thundercats so they can fight and everything, so he's ready for battle now. So that's going to be it for Lino.
And next up, we've got the villain of Mumra. Of course, he's the bad guy in the show. And Lino's evil nemesis and everything. So he's Mumra. I think he's like Lord of the Reptiles or something like that. Some sort of leader of the reptiles. And Mumra is go goes for like a snake, which you can see in some of his outfit designs and everything. Um, to me, he kind of looks like an Egyptian, like Pharaoh or something. It's kind of what his design is based off. Uh, of course, I'm not exactly sure about that. But he looks kind of like a gargoyle, too. Like his actual body design reminds me of like a gargoyle. I don't know. It doesn't seem very snake-like or like a reptile or anything, but I don't really know what he is for sure. But there we can see his face, and of course you can see his teeth with the big old, big old mashers going in there. That he's going to rip stuff apart. He can eat you, and he's got really sharp teeth going in there. Um, then he's got red eyes, of course. And his helmet on, of course, which has two snakes on the top of it. Again, going into the whole reptile thing, so we've got two snakes coming off of his head there. And then he's got... Um, I don't know if this is hair or just part of the helmet, like a uh, uh, like, uh, cloth hanging down. But then you can also see he's got this like cloth of ribbons hanging off of the side. So they come off the side there. They go down his neck and stuff. And then he's got a bunch of wrappings around him. It kind of reminds me of like mummyish wrappings and stuff like around his neck there. And then around his uh, waist here as well. So I don't know what. He, again, that's why it kind of reminds me of like Egyptian and the colors and stuff. He's got a nice red cape on back here. So there's the red cape with black underneath and stuff. So it looks cool. On his chest, he has has the logo there again for the reptile clan or whatever his gr group and stuff so the red circle with the two snakes and stuff and the circle in between so that's part of his whole thing he's got gold on his arms so he's got gold bands on his arms and gauntlets and stuff there as you can see he's got nice big old sharp claws as you can see there not uh, designed perfectly but they still look very mean and menacing um, then you can see he's got a belt on with like a skirt type thing so gold belt and then edging of the skirt there as well with red and blue design going on there again looks more Egyptian like to me I feel that's what Pharaoh's and stuff and then he's got some coverings on his shins here so like shin guards of course they're all gold they've got some points on them at the end and it looks like some fur stuff coming off underneath to his feet there where he's got the claws or sticking out off his feet there the movement should be the same as lino so again the arms just move a little bit the head can twist a little twist at the waist and then of course the hips um, are about all the joints that we get again not much movement with these figures so they just kind of we have to go with what we get so standing can be a little bit hard but they're actually not too bad they're pretty decent to figure out for accessories he does comes with the sword of plundar which is a double bladed sword and it looks very evil and stuff so you can see the centers there um, where it's just like gold all wrapped around i thought it'd be cool if those were snake heads as well you know the two snake heads coming up but they just look like held designs and stuff and then we got a she uh, sword that looks like a feather or some sort of design but of course obviously it's a sword but it's got all these jagged points coming to points at the end there and same for the other side i don't know how if this will go in his hand very easily because lino's pretty hard but that was able to just slide right in i don't know how you get this one in so there we go i was finally able to get into his hand and obviously since you can't like move their hands around and stuff it doesn't look very interesting but i got it you know as much into his hands and he can hold it like that so it's again not very interesting for moving it actually just has to kind of hold it straight out and stuff which um i don't think is looks the best but you know for these kind of figures that's pretty much all you can get from it so that's gonna be it for mumra and next up, we've got Panther. So we got Lionel's friend here, his side partner, companion, whatever you want to call it, of Panthro, which of course is based off a of Panther. So that's kind of more what his design goes into. Obviously, the Thundercats are all based off of some sort of uh, big cat animals and stuff. So we've got a Panther going on here. So that's kind of his, his design, how he's all gray. So it's kind of like a Black Panther kind of design, but he's all grayed out instead of uh, black or something. But there you can see his face again. He's got the same cor uh, sort of eye designs there with the black line lines coming down his eyes stuff again makes it look very cat like he's got of course the different color there around his mouth similar to cats i think it'd be fun if they all had whiskers there you can see his ears so he's got big giant ears they almost look like bad ears or something like that just how big they are and stuff i think they should be more rounded or something if they're supposed to be for like a cat um but i think they still look cool and very animal like so that's kind of cool again he's got the same sort of big body type design muscles everywhere just all sorts of ridiculously muscled out here he's got a suit again they remind their suits remind me of like wrestlers and stuff so he's got um the suit of course with the tights the belt that looks like a title belt on him almost and of course with the thundercats logo and then he He's got the suspender stri uh, straps coming up where he's got spikes on them, so four spikes on each one, which are kind of pointy. They're not going to like 
pokey or stabby, but they are sharper than I kind of expected them to be. And then, of course, straps under the arms as well to help hold the outfit on. Um, again, I think it looks cool, and again, it reminds me of wrestlers and stuff. Then he's got boots on, which look um, just like a fabric, and as you can see, he's got ropes um, hold tied to help hold the boots on and stuff, and I like how it's got the toe cut out, kind of like the uh, ninja shoes or something. I think that's cool. And then, of course, he's got gauntlets on his arm here, which, again, are supposed to have the spike, which these are just rounded spikes. So, again, those aren't very pointy. That's more what I expected these to kind of be. But I think they still look cool having um, that on his uh, wrist there. And then, of course, has a silver uh, band, I guess, on that arm right at the elbow. So, again, looks very cool. Very classic design. But, again, there's not much detail. These same movements. So, arms, head twist, waist twist thighs and stuff so again not much to go into detail onto these figures unfortunately so um, don't have much to really look at on them for accessories he comes with the nunchucks here so again no special name or anything for these nunchucks but we've got a red and blue design and then they are shaped like hands so they're supposed to be i think like cat hands usually i think they're like more like fisted up but this time they're kind of open which is weird that they did that with them that they're open then of course the chain in the middle and stuff but yeah they're supposed to be just be like nunchucks and stuff that uh panthro can hold so it's kind of I guess of a cool design there and stuff. Again, these hard to get stuff into their hands just the way their hand designs are and they're pretty uh, closed and stuff, but it looks cool. So there he got the nunchucks put into his hand and everything, so he just kind of holds it there. Again, can't really do much with it and stuff, and it just kind of moves around. But that's going to be it for Panthro. And the last figure from this raid is Slythe, and he's again part of Mummer's clan, the reptile group, and he does look very much reptile. She looks froggy to me, but also different stuff, like he's got a tail, so not very frog-like. But the face kind of reminds me of like a frog design, so he's got the bug eyes, you know, like a frog has. Same sort of frog design, but he's got a nose, a mouth again. Their mouth is also with uh, surrounded by a different design there you can see he's got the mouth open with teeth he's got four teeth there in his mouth so that's kind of funny um he's got some spikes going on his head all the way down his back so you can see he's got the spikes there and then he's got these big giant wing like ears here they look you know reminded of like the seahorse or like fish fins or something coming off there for listening i guess is how he does then he's got the gold or uh helmet on his head so he's got this gold helmet of course has some weird like circle thing there in the center helmet on his head there and then um, we can go down his body again he's got more of these freckle type designs which they usually i don't like frogs and turtles and stuff so he's got the different colored spots there on his shoulders um he does have the claws as well. I think they all just have the same sort of design. So they all have these claws. I just didn't really notice them before. Um, but there you can see his center body is the same color as his mouth. So like the gray color um, as opposed to the green and stuff. And then he's just green legs down below. For his outfit you can see he does have this like skirting on. It looks to be you know kind of like a... Um, I want to say like a hula skirt, like a grass skirt type design. Again, obviously he's, he's supposed to be a creature. So they just probably took plants and put it around his waist to cover him up. He has a weird belt here made of like cloth or string or something then he has this centerpiece here on his chest that's holding it together i don't know if it's supposed to be anything but just a different sort of design to add on to it and again the same like cloth or string design holding the straps on there to hold it onto his body and stuff he does have the metal band on his arms just like panther did and stuff on um his opposite arm though on his uh right arm and then on his left he's got the gauntlet with the spikes on it and everything and then on the back we can see his tail which the tail doesn't move or anything and it has those dots on it as well and then the feet just move so to be able to stand up you just have to adjust it with the tail so he leans back on the tail and then you have to just get his feet positioned to where he stands up on it and you can see his feet design there a little bit different he has little tiny thin claw or like rounded claws but he does have claws there on his feet and four toes and again he's all muscled out as well as the other characters and for his weapon he just comes with an axe so he's got this you know very primitive looking axe so it looks very much like stone or very weak metal and then just a piece of wood and there I got the axe into his hand there. So again, uh, I don't like that you can't do much movement, but that's again just how these figures are designed and everything. They're very classic 80s design where they did figures didn't have a whole lot of move. They were just, you know, parts, oh, you got arms to move, and that was pretty much all you got and everything. But again, he's got the other same movements. So as all the other characters' head can move a little bit. It's kind of limited because of his ears and everything, so he can't spend too much um, twist at the waist. Of course, arms and leg movements as well. Same as all the others, and it again looks really cool. So that's going to be 
be it for Slythe. So that's going to be it for all these figures of the Funko Savage World of Thundercats, where we had Lionel, Mumra, Panthro, and Slythe, of course, Wave 1 of the set. Hopefully, if Wave 2 ever gets released or comes out, we will be doing reviews on that one. And I think maybe next week, I can't guarantee it, but have coming up on the channel, we will be doing the He-Man Super 7, so they look almost exactly like this, just made by Super 7 as the company. But their figures designed just like this, and He-Man, and again, probably about the same amount of figures and everything. I don't think my brother got all of them, but he got you know, like the main characters and everything of that. So you can look on that for that coming up on the channel if you are interested in these at all. So I hope you check that out as well. And so, of course, if you want to, go and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more figures. And, of course, leave a thumbs up on the video and any comments you have for me down below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.